Welcome back to the Laurel Leaf Scarf, step two. We're ready to do our border. I stitch a short little core for demonstration purposes. You'll notice that I have uh, changed colors on my last stitch. This is just to make it easier for you to see as I stitch the border. I have also changed hook sizes. I stitched the core with a size I hook, and I'm going down to a size H for the decorative edging. Uh, sometimes that decorative edging can take up a lot of space and look a little crowded. So you'll have to do a little swatch for yourself and decide what size hook you would like to use. You can stitch your band as long as you like. You can stop at any point finishing with the single crochet in the chain four space to start the edging. Chain five. Now we're going to make a triple crochet cluster. We'll start by making three partial triple crochets as though we were going to make a normal cluster, but instead of joining them all at the top, we're going to yarn over and pull through two more loops, and then yarn over and pull through all the loops. This makes our cluster just a little bit longer on the far side and keeps everything nice and straight. I'll show you that again in just a moment. Let's make our pico, chain three, yarn over, insert the hook back and through the top two strands of the cluster you just made. It's a little difficult to see. Pull up a loop, pull through all the loops on the hook. This will give you a nice straight pico uh, with less inclination to curl, although these picots do curl. And we're ready to chain five. and single crochet in the same space we started. That's the first leaf, chain one, single crochet in the next space, and now we're ready to do something fun and funky. To make the linked leaves, at this point I slide my hook forward and I stick the tail of it back through the chain five space that I just made. There's another way to do this. You can also take your hook out of the loop and slide the hook from front to back through that chain space and put it back in the loop. Either way works equally well. Chain two. Now bring your working loop through the chain five space that you just made. Chain one to catch that chain five chain two more. Now you have chained five and you've got this very pretty twisted effect where the two chains join each other. Now we're ready to make our next triple cluster. Yarn over twice, insert hook in same chain space, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over twice, pull up a loop, two and two. Yarn over twice, pull up a loop, two and two. And at this point, instead of finishing, we're going to draw through two more and then pull through to draw them all together. Ready for a pico? Chain three, yarn over, insert hook front to back through the top two strands of the previous cluster. Pull up a loop, pull through all the loops on the hook. Chain five, if you can keep your hook in your yarn. Single crochet in the chain, same chain four space. Oh dear chain one, and single crochet in the next space, and you're ready to make your next linked loop. Get your hook all set up, and you can just keep on going, making linked leaves all the way around. When you get to the end space, you're going to make two leaves in the end space linked to each other, and don't forget to make the chain one single crochet between those two leaves as well. Then you'll continue up the other side, make two more leaves in the other end space, and then we'll join them together. See you in a minute. 